What's up everybody and welcome back to Selenix Crypto. Good morning and welcome to this video in which we'll be doing an update on Bitcoin. An update on my analysis and prediction on Bitcoin, uh, that, that's what I mean with that. So again, not, not a lot has changed, but I do really <laughs> appreciate this daily update and I think it's valuable to, to actually analyze closely what it's been doing the last 24 hours. So that's the main thing we'll be doing. We'll also be going over my analysis um, that I've had for the last couple of days already, or almost for the last week, I think. Uh, we'll be going over that too. So if you're a new viewer, first of all, welcome, but this will also just be a regular price analysis and price prediction. So I think it's good to start with that. Um, what I've been saying and, and for, for the last couple of days is that I expected this consolidation uh, on top of this support level right here, ranging from 20,500 up until 20,900. Um, and over the last couple of days, uh, 21,700 has been our main resistance level that has been holding on pretty strong. Um, now that is in, in essence, that's a very strong resistance level. You got that 28 EMA hitting that yesterday. It's a 236 FIP. Um, which seems to be pretty strong, but apart from that, 21,700 has also been a, a proven key level over the last couple of months. Um, so we have been consolidating uh, within that, and to be honest, I, I don't think we're going to break this level above us, all right? It's, it's also what I explained in the last couple of videos. I think it's possible to actually get, get one strong move up until like 22,200, this level right here, which has that 50 EMA and the 382 FIP. I think that's possible, but I don't see any way of breaking above this resistance level. The resistance level of 22,000 up until 22,500 is a strong one, and I think it's too strong in these market circumstances to break. Uh, apart from that, what I, what, what, what I more so expect is that after this consolidation, which is going to end, I think, somewhere this week, so um, up until August, um, even though we still have support under us, because as you can see, we haven't even touched 20,700. Uh, even though we have that support, I think uh, somewhere within the next, uh, well, what is it, four days, I think we're going to break that um, and get a bearish breakout, drop down to 20,000, find some support there, but only to, to start falling towards 19,000. And I don't think we'll drop down to 19,000 this week. It's possible, um, but I don't think so. Um, but I am expecting the beginning of that move. Um, that is still my bias. I, I, I could be wrong about that, but it's it's like the last couple of days and the last week, we've had too much bearish confirmation uh, to really be bullish on this. All right. So for example, if, if we would really hold this 20,700 level for, for a long time, then first of all, I, I would be wrong. Uh, second of all, then, then we could actually start talking about breaking above this level again, because then we actually have some strength. Uh, but for now, as you can also see, if, if, if we take a look at it very closely and you know, over the last 24 hours, what you can see is that our touches off of that 236 FIB uh, have all been very strong and we react very happily to that 28 EMA. Um, usually what that means, if, if you react to like um, the 28 EMA, which is the most recent EMA and the 236 FIB, which is the lowest FIB, and you react to that in this way, usually that means that the downtrend is pretty strong. Uh, all right, because we haven't even hit the 50 EMA or the 382 FIB, and then above there you got so much resistance that I just don't see us uh, getting above that unless we get fundamental news. All right, so fundamentals are always stronger than technicals. Um, but upcoming week, this week, and next week maybe. Um, let's uh, let's check it out. Um, I I don't think we have any major. Um, no, we don't. We we don't have any major fundamental things going on. You got the, the non non farm payrolls for the United States, but that's more of a Forex thing. So uh, no big fundamentals. So unless something big in the world happens, such as, uh, as such as the end of a war, yeah, then sure we could go up. But um, for now, I think this is the most likely scenario. So um, if you do have any questions about that, please let me know down in the comments. But for now, I'd like to thank you all for watching and listening. And I hope to see you all in my next videos. Bye.